Hello and thank you for joining me in taking a look at this new pen that has just arrived from China. This is the Hongjian tribute to Qin Dynasty. It seems like they were uh, the first empire of China. Speaking of dynasty. I think that you can buy these in two ways. One of them, if you buy direct from China, through AliExpress, they're going to come maybe in little sleeves, very, very nicely padded. Uh, I got mine from Amazon and it was advertised to come with a box. I thought it'd be interesting to take a look what kind of box they arrive in. It seems like a very sturdy little box. It reminds me of the Pelican boxes. So let's pull this through. They have the black version, the red, the green, and another black with uh, one with gold trim, one with black trims, like that. It comes with this wrench that you can undo the piston. And this is the pen. Oh, it's nicely seated with a little plastic. All right, so this is the pen. It is beautiful. Look at those details. There's a significant amount of artwork there on the finial as well as the sides. Again, it's probably depicting something related to the Shin Dynasty that I'm unfortunately ignorant to. But I'm looking at the pen and it's stunning, even on the pictures. And in person, I'm just looking at it behind the camera. It looks even more beautiful than it would on the pictures. It seems like mostly built with some metal. It has a good weight on it. This seems metallic. Big part of the cap feels like it's metallic too. And of course, it seems like the grip section is also metallic. The dark plating actually makes the red pop out a little bit more and look even more beautiful. Even the tip of this clip is a little bit impregnated with the red lacquer or some kind of material. So is this strip on the clip. Let's take the lid off. Grip section seems also to be metallic. It's not slick. Seems like it's going to hold up well without slipping and sliding. The nib is, this one is actually steel. It is of course plated with the same dark matter. It's a fine size nib. I wasn't able to find a different size of these nibs. It seems like they're all in fine. I have to look a little bit more. There's also some scroll work there. Number 1997. I remember that year. That was the year before the 1998 World Cup soccer in France. I was super excited. Beautiful. What's even more beautiful than this is if there was two of them. Enter the green version. So when I ordered these, I wanted to take a look at two different colors. The black doesn't really strike me as attractive. It doesn't seem as nice, but the green did look 
pretty nice to me um, based on the photos of course however when I got this screen in hand I'm looking at it it looks beautiful and all but this gold plating is a little bit intense it's bright yellow gold plating um, of course it's not real gold it's it feels like some kind of cheap material just does not impress me as well as the darker plating with the red one now this green one does not come in darker plating however the black one does the black one I don't like as much just if this was available in in dark plating that would be very very good again has the red inserts here still looks very nice looks beautiful especially from distance if you're not picky like I am with the metals with the metal plating the Pelican Toledo this also has this has silver silver work but it's handmade in real silver and with real polishing it looks beautiful impeccable artwork now compare that to the Hongdian it's a lot more subdued again the nib is plated with gold I already inked this with the appropriately colored ink the nib looks good it's probably a number six nib um, the weight is quite a bit heavier than the usual ones that we're used to the resin pens uh, I would say that it's a little bit heavier even the Pelican Toledo which has a lot of metal work in it um, but not by much uh, I would not say this is unwieldy in terms of using usability uh, but it is it has got quite a bit of weight on it how about we compare this with a couple of other pens in my proximity this is the Hongdian this is another one of the Hongdian metal pens looks a little bit smaller then we have our recently befriended Jinhao 9019 on the other side you see that it's about the same length as the Jinhao not as thick of course Wingson 630 again it's about the same size Pilot Custom Heritage 912 Twisby Diamond 580 again the same about the same height but the Twisby is much narrower Pilot Custom 743 Asphine P36 and we can put many of these side by side and you can I would say it looks pretty good in the crowd in hand the pen looks and feels very sturdy and uncapped it feels pretty secure in my hand it's not gonna fly out because of the heaviness it does not look or feel like a cheap belt pen we can try to post this it actually does seem to be posting pretty okay I don't post my pens but if you were to post this it seems like it would withstand the ordeal this is of course a piston filler and there's a small little ink window you can look at the ink through it just tells you whether there's ink or not I don't think it tells you how much ink is left the window being so small one thing I noticed that the piston only takes a couple of turns to go from one end to another so I'd be interested to see how much ink it holds again beautiful beautiful pen the ink I've chosen for this pen today is Womp Womp Rabbit Red see how it looks on the paper let's see how many 
turns it takes. One, two, two and three quarters. The rabbit red ink is very, very intense red. All right, shall we do a writing sample? This is Hongding. wetness decent nothing we would need to put the pen on wetness protection for but decent how about line variation nothing okay how about quick writing can it keep up that's the question Any babies or infants' bottoms? Nope. Very good. Nice, modestly wet, fine nib that works just as advertised. Very nice, I like it. Let's try the same deal with, with the green. This is inked with Mont Blanc Irish green. We'll try to write something similar. None of these inks are super wet inks also. That's something to keep in mind. How about line variation? This is the same nib. I don't anticipate much of a line variation. Fast writing. Quick, 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 quick. Hurry up, hurry up. Next patient is waiting. Oh, write prescription. Write prescription. Okay, take it to the pharmacy. I started out medical school writing maybe something like this towards the end of my residency still some wave and some hope and a fellowship the pharmacy would have to be my very close friend to get this prescription and fill it so what do I think about this 
two pins. Stunning. Amazing. Visually, very, very appealing. Very beautiful. And in terms of value, they're, they're very well priced. They're around $40 to $50, depending on where you get them from. And that's shipped here. So the price is very reasonable compared to some of our domestic steel nib pens. However, in terms of day-to-day -day writing experience and the ability to use this as a daily writer, I would say that there is other pens that would serve that purpose a little bit better. For example, Moonman A1. This is probably the best daily writer pen for anyone that needs to write on the go. College students. I'm not going to say who else, especially college students. Uh, that probably makes a very, very good daily driver. Even aside from that, there's other better options. But in its own right, these pens are such beautiful specimens that it's definitely worth having at least one of these around even if it's that if it's just for decorative purposes this is a pen that i would recommend any serious pen enthusiast to take a look at and probably have in their collection because of how beautiful it is now because of my reservation with the cheap looking gold plating on the green one I would hold off on getting this one because just looking at it it's a little bit disappointing on how this plating looks actually my camera makes it look a little bit better than it is in person it's very shiny and it looks very slick and the red contrast with the yellow is not very appealing so either they need to tone down the 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 brightness of the yellow plating they put on this pen in which case it'll look very very beautiful like the pelican toledo for example that we looked at earlier so it, they can make this into an even more stunning piece of art by just toning down on the plating or just switch it to either silver plating or the dark plating like the the other ones so i would probably hold off on this one but definitely definitely need to have this in, in the collection. If there's any interest in collecting more than a few pens, uh, this is as much of a conversation starter as it is a writer. Like I said, in terms of writing experience, they're just fine. They don't skip. They don't, um, they don't disappoint. They're just very, very fine writers for the steel nib that they have and for the ink that I put in them. Um, are they reliable? I don't know. Time will tell. Um, so if I was a student going to college and had a limited budget and I wanted to buy a few pens, one of which would I would use for note taking and the other one I would just carry with me and have conversation about it. It would I would get the A1 for everyday writing and note taking and I would get a Jinhao 9019 for backup because it's also a very very amazing writing and then I would pick up one of these actually just to have with me for context I had one of those older Jinhao um, the dragon ones that had metallic dragon wrapped around it I had that through my college years and then some of my residency years and uh, in uh, internal medicine residency and it was always always a conversation starter through that i met a few people that were actually big into fountain pens and they introduced me to pen shows and i should not have met them just saying anyway so that's my overall impressions about these pens i hope that this video helps at least one or two people make the right decision on whether or not to get at this uh, pen I look forward to any questions that you might have and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.